right, welcome back to another video. Today we are coming back to Sakura Succubus, but this time this is going to be number two. And uh, where we left off, we literally decided to run back with our ex from college, which is kind of weird in itself. But other than that, uh, I think this is where it gets hectic. <laughs> But I'm not guaranteeing that, but we'll see what happens. But without further ado, let's get into it. It was in my last year of high school, not college. I fucked that up. <laughs> Pardon my language on that one. It was my last year of high school that I had my first girlfriend. Her name was Yuki, and she had very long dark hair and a stern serious look she wasn't athletic and she didn't like talking to people it was almost impossible to ring more than five words out of her at a time in the end my classmates learned to keep their distance she was pretty yes but she wasn't worth their time yuki's silence wasn't that of a shy girl she was surely almost rude, dismissive too. Uh, she see, uh, it seemed like she's actively disdained all of our classmates and the human race in general. I thought she'd disdain me too, until she confessed to me. Her confession surprised me, but it wasn't unwelcome. I was only 18 when it happened, and it was in my last year of high school. I'd never been confused to before, and I was flustered. I accepted her confession, and afterwards we became a couple. We almost, we were almost always together. We walked in school in the mornings and then back home in the afternoons. We studied in exams in the library, and Yuki tried and failed to make me lunch on several occasions. We went on dates too. I can still remember one particular date uh, we had in the countryside. It was an unfeasible hot day, and uh, Sinsada's crisp ins uh, insistently <laughs> in the undergrowth. Yuki was wearing a sheer cotton dress with thin stripes, her dark hair loose. She kept fanning herself, but it wasn't enough to wait away her insistent heat. <laughs> Jesus. In the end, she took off her wedge sandals and waited on the link. Well, sorry, waited out in uh, into a lake to cool down. Uh, excuse me. In the end, she took off her wedged sandals and waited in, waited out into a lake to cool down. I went in after her and splashed her with water. She didn't squirm an alarm. She wasn't very emotive, but she did splash me back. We got into a fight, and Yuki's dress was soaked through. Or soaked through, excuse me. <laughs> um, it clunk her to her body. Sorry, it clung to her body, uh, situating her curves. Droplets of water drops down inside of her thighs and she had ring out her skirt like a sponge. It was at that, I thought about that moment a lot. This might've been one of the happiest days of my life. I told Yuki as much when we were on the train going back home. She only tipped her head to the one side and said, really, how curious, like a scientist overseeing some sort of experiment. It was not a response, but Yuki has always been an odd girl. She was my girlfriend, but she didn't smile very much. She was an aloof, stoic person. But I found I didn't mind that very much. Her icy persona only made me feel more gratified when I was able to make her laugh. I never thought of dating Yuki before, but as soon as I became in infatuated with her I liked her a lot over time I 
think I grew to love her. But our relationship was short lived. Soon, it was time for us to graduate. Yuki was Yuki went to college overseas while I continued my studies in Japan. After that, I never see her again. Or saw her. <laughs> I can't speak. I only spent three months with Yuki, but I can remember them all in a stark detail. If only she hadn't transferred into my school during our final year, if only she hadn't waited until the last semester to confess to me, if only we had one, we had more time together. I used to think about such things a lot. When we first broke up, I but I don't now, not often in the way. Anyway, it's been more than 10 years since then and I am no longer a starry-eyed 18 year old, I'm an adult. I had a job and a very demanding boss. I'm so swept up in work, I haven't had time for new relationships in years, nor the time to sit and think about the old ones. I like Yuki very much, but that was in the past. I doubt I'll ever see her again. It was pointless to contemplate what's already passed I know that so why am I thinking about her now that's because beneath the moonlight in this secluded Japanese garden I think I f I think I may have found her doppelganger a woman stands bes before me wearing a yellow kimono her long black hair tum uh, tumbles around her shoulders by the way, it's good to see this again. <laughs> she looks just like Yuki. On one hand, she holds a red lacquered power cell. Uh, I can't see her face, but her shoulders and her hands are creamy white. She looks so much like Yuki, I can't help but stare. Is it really her? Maybe this is just a trick of light, or lack of. I'm seeing things. This woman can't be Yuki. I haven't seen her in over a decade. She went off to studies overseas. She hasn't contacted me since we broke up. For all I know, she could be anywhere. America, France, Italy. This can't be Yuki. But if she's not Yuki, who is she? Why does she look so familiar? Um, excuse me. I call out to the woman. My mouth feels dry as though I swallowed a sock. <laughs> what? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you all right? What? Oh yes, I'm sorry if I startled you. I just, I was just gazing at the moon. It looks so pretty tonight, don't you? Do you not agree? The woman turned her head, fond of her dark hair flatter, flurring. <laughs> I can't speak right now. And I see to my disappointment, to not surprise, that this isn't Yuki at all. Though a very interesting girl, my goodness. God damn! You know, Corey wasn't kidding when he said that the girls look good in these kimonos. He was not kidding. Sorry, I am literally stuttering because I am so flustered in the middle of this. Good lord. Okay, I'm sorry. This probably go without saying. I had no idea what I thought she might be. Given all the crazy things that has happened in my life lately, it's probably a good thing that Yuki isn't here. Why would my ex-girlfriend make a tangled mess of her romantic relationships? I'm not even sure what I'm thinking about while I think about all this madness. Tell me, young boy, what is your name? I'm Hiroki Ozagawa. Hiroki, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I can't, you see what I mean? I can't speak. Hiroki, isn't it? That's a nice name. It suits you. That woman smiles pleasantly. My name is Hifumi. Oh, hello. I'll be staying in Hiroken for the next for a few days. I do hope to see you again, dear. Um, hope we get along quite splendidly. Oh yeah, it'll be nice to get to know you. That's what I said, but my voice was or vague. Something about Mifuji made me pause. She's not Yuki, but the feel. That I know her persistence. Her name sounds awfully familiar, too. Could it be. You're not that famous actress, Yamamoto Fuji, are you? 
There's no way in hell he's met this many celebrities in a space. I swear to God, if you remember, he's literally met almost half of the celebrities around him. It makes zero sense. What is happening? What the fuck? Oh my, so you've heard of me. One does not like to brag. I don't know if I'm that famous. But yes, you are correct. I am Yama Yamamoto Hifuji. Hifumi. <laughs> Can't speak. Um, I suppose... I have appeared in a handful of movies. <laughs> the Fuji's uh, Fu Me. I I'm gonna have a hard time singing yes. this. <sighs> the Fumi's tone is humble and polite, but that makes her manifold accomplishments seems even more impressive. I think a handful of movies is something of an understatement. The Fumi's one of the most sought-after actresses in all of Japan cinema. She's been working from her tender age of 18, and she's been in the industry for 15 years. So, wow, she's kind of old now, actually, now I think about it. Hifumi in her early 30s, but she doesn't look like it. Her skin is flawless, but devoid of wrinkles. Her body taut and supple beneath the folds of her kimono. She's, she's still, sorry, she still gets asked to play the same sweet, wide-eyed, ingenue, excuse me, ingenue role that propelled her to fame all those years. She starred in about 20 well-acclaimed uh, well movies, and that's not to mention her numerous appearance in TV dramas, talk shows, and adverts. She's so famous, she's practically a national symbol of Japan. Everybody knows about Hifumi. I'm a big fan of her. I've loved her for years. Hell, even my dad's a big fan of her. And my mom, too. Hifumi is a, has a wide apparel. She's loved by men, both men, women, adults, and children. Maybe that's because, despite her good looks, she's very modest and polite unfailingly appreciative of her fans and softly spoken to boot this can't be real i was about to say the same thing like how the fuck are you running into these type of girls are you really yamamoto Fumi? that's the name of my parents they called me with yes why Fumi inclines her head is there a problem with that oh no there's no problem that's the opposite of the problem this is a bit embarrassing, but I'm a big fan of yours. Love your work. What, really? Hifumi blinks, taken aback. I never thought I would find a fan of mine all the way out here. I must have been more popular than I thought. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're incredibly popular. You have a whole website devoted to you over the internet. Not that I frequently such sites, of course. I certainly never looked at Hifumi's feet. I was wondering when this was going to get weird. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <sighs> Before. <laughs> You're not just popular in Japan. You have fans all across the globe. I never thought I, met I would meet you face to face. This is incredible. I don't think it, I'm so incredible, really. I'm just a normal woman. But if you see, if seeing me makes you happy, then that makes me happy too. I do enjoy bringing smiles to people's faces. That's why I became an actress in the first place. And you've done an amazing job. Keep at it, for me. Of course. Boom. That was her head. How could I not? When I have fans like you, I must admit. I have been in something of a slump recently. All the roles I have taken on have been so very similar. I am beginning to worry that my career is staggering. Um, I came here to take a break so that I might reevaluate what I wish to do in the future. But after hearing such kind words from you, I know that I cannot give up. I have fans who love me. I can see that clearly now. As such, it would be shameful of me to give up and abandon you all. <laughs> it's me. 
I stared at Ino's big shining eyes of a child. Oh man, I can't blame him though, I can't. I think I was a child when I first saw one of Hafumi's movies. I would have been 14? Maybe 15. It would be no lie to say that Hafumi is one of my first loves. I even had a poster of her on my bedroom wall. I mean, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I accepted confessions, actually. I'd always thought with the long black hair and her pale skin, she looked a lot like Hifumi. I feel positively outstruct. But I can't afford to lose my senses. This is one lifetime chance. I need to act and fast. Uh, sure. I'm. S I'm sorry, Hafumi. I know you're on vacation and I don't want to bother you. But I've loved you for a very long time. I adore your movies and I adore you, and, well, I was wondering. Could I possibly get your auto? I'm halfway through my question, and apparently through it may be, when a loud exclamation stills me. Hold it right there. Huh? I whip my head around. Since it's late at night, I didn't expect to be interrupted by anybody else. But life has been doing its levels best, its level best, sorry, to surprise me as of late. It's been succeeding too. I stared, my mouth agape, as if I come to face to face to face <laughs> uh, with two girls that I know very well. Oh shit! Oh come on! Come on, women! Come on, girls! Not the best time. <sighs> it's Japanese number one idol, Ikiro, Ikiyu, excuse me, and with her famous cyan-haired, cat ear wearing rapid pal model Cosmos and my girlfriend. Shit! This humble Roikin is full to burst with celebrities. If Waka, if Wakazuki Marina were here, we had a full house. But she isn't. I think she must have been in the room sleeping, being an. Uh, being an ultra famous businesswoman must be taxing. Not that I know, I har I'm hardly at Marina's level. <sighs> Wherever I look, I'm surrounded by raw star power. <sighs> I'm starting to feel very out of place here. Now look here, you traditional turncoat. Stabs a finger in my direction. You can't ask Hifumi for her autograph. You're supposed to be my producer. You fraternize with my with the enemy. Your producer? I don't remember that. I was about to say the same thing. Since I've met you at the tropical beach retreat in Okinawa, it's a long story. She's been determined calling me her cameraman. When did I get such a lawfully promotion? And you're my boyfriend. I don't want you flirting with other girls. Not behind my back. Cosmos, honey, look at me. I would never do that. She's just been my idol for a very long time. And I just asked for an autograph. That's all I'm asking. Come on. Come on, you know I love you. Come on. Sorry, Cosmos. I wasn't flirting. I was just telling you how much I loved her movies. I'm a fan. Yes, I heard. You were being so loud. I'm sure that everybody in the whole world can hurt. Oh, shit. We were that loud? You're not very subtle, Rookie. Do you really have to make such noise? Some of us were trying to sleep. But AU. AU blinks at. Well, sorry. Cosmos blinks, AU, uh, blinks at AU, perplexed. We've been spying on Hiroki since he started talking to him. You motherfuckers were out here? Oh, come on. You see why I can't stand this. Didn't you come into my room at midnight, wake me up, and ask if I wanted to keep tabs on him with you? Wait, what? You girls were spying on me? Yeah, so what of it? Pouty bitch. I swear to God. It's almost like I can't keep up today. Tries to look indifferent, but her face is burning. For an idol, she's always been bad at hiding her real feelings. No shit. You should be grateful that cute, that a cute girl like me is giving you time of day, you loser. Oh, fuck 
off. I don't want to hear that bullshit. So I've been demoted to her producer to a loser in the span of a few seconds. Success is such a fickle beast. Anyways, it's not like I care who flirts with, who you flirt with, excuse me. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. You can do what you like. Fuck you. I just wish you'd be a bit more quietly. But you were still spying on me. So what? You're a pervert. Okay, to be quite fair, I was actually looking at that ass. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, so I had... Oh, excuse me. So I had to make sure you weren't going to harass Marina in her sleep or something. I'm sacrificing my sleep for the greater good. I'm, like, so nice and sweet. How could you not love me? Don't you agree, Cosmos? What? Oh. You nudges Cosmos in the side of her elbow, which makes her jump. Yay, hey, he was so cool. She's the best. I love her more than I love seeking compressing pudding. <laughs> Look at her face. You can tell she's bullshitting, G. You can tell she's bullshitting. Look at that. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Make that worse. Just make that worse. I had to hide a snicker behind the mouth. I was about to say the same thing. She was tripping. There's something pretty funny about Cosmos completely disband delivery. Huh? Hey, you glowers at me. Are you doubting my cuteness, Hiroki? No, not at all. I think you're very cute. And very noble? Yes, indeed. I am very perfect, aren't I? I'm so nice, in fact. I'll give you a few words of advice. You should stay away from that woman. Who, me? Yes, you You might act sweet, but I know your game. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't get too close, Aurora. No, she'll devour you. Perhaps this is new. This news should be concerning me, but being devoured by, by Hafumi doesn't sound that bad. I was about to say the same thing, actually. What? Why, you? And you takes a step forward towards me. She's so heated. She's practically shaking in rage. I'm surprised steam isn't coming out of her ears. How could you say something so scandalous? Isn't that enough, enough that you have three of us to dot on you? You don't need any more. You're a bad boy, Hiroki. Your appetite cannot be sated. <laughs> but I don't mind that. Thank you, sweetie. If you're frustrated, you can be the however you like. I am your girlfriend and I belong to you. <laughs> Well, she's not wrong. <laughs> she's not wrong. Hey, Cosmos, no fair. Don't try to make any moves on the Roki. I never gave you permission. Bitch, she's my girlfriend. The fuck you mean? Why should I need permission from you? Hiroki is my boyfriend. He might be your boyfriend, but he's my producer before that. His duties towards me should come first. Oh, really? But... I've been lovey-dovey with Hiroki much more than you have. Mm, you bitch. <sighs> and you recoils, her, her face burning. That is a work in progress. I want to take my time to claim Hiroki, bit by bit. I'm not cheap and easy like you. I'm an idol. I some rap about bimbo. And I deserve to be treated accordingly. I'm not a bimbo. And Hiroki said he doesn't mind if I post my photos online. He supports me. He supports you selling your body for salve masses. Uh, he can't love you that much. It's because he loves me that he supports me. Your cold, callous heart would understand that. Why you, you bitch, take this. No, you. And now you and Cosmos are bickering. Oh my. I incline to agree with Fumi. Oh my, indeed. I'm curious, Hiroki. What is your relations with those two naughty children? That's a long story. I guess you could say the three of us are very close. Personal connection or something? Ah, I see. Fumi nods her head sagely. You must get along as well. Excuse me, I forgot my timer went off on me. 
You really think so? Yes, indeed. Uh, you and Cosmos must love you very, love you a lot, or they wouldn't be bickering about you. So, and if those two weren't really good friends, uh, they would not be able to argue like this in the first place. It must be nice to have friends like that. I like quite this. Uh, I've led quite the sheltered ex existence myself, and I've never been partaken in such lively debates. Looks like a lot of fun. I don't know about that. I can't imagine Ifumi calling anybody a bitch or pulling their hair like a Yumi and Cosmos are. It doesn't suit her mature, refined image. I think you're perfect just the way you are, Ifumi. Perfect? That's quite a compliment. I'm mean, sure you'd be able to live up your... I'll be able to live up your lofty expectations, but I shall do my best. As an actress, I would never want to disappoint my fans. You couldn't. You're so kind and forgiving. Easy to talk to, too. I don't know why you seem to dislike you so much. It doesn't make any sense. In fact, I think she could stand to learn a few lessons from you. Come to think of it, hey, you and Cosmos seem to know Fumi well. Hey, you even gave her a cute nickname, Fumin. Would they address her by her first name? as if they never spoken before. As I'm pondering this, Cosmos in a use yelling continues to drift through the air and makes a commo they're making a commotion. It wouldn't be a surprise if the cries awake the entire Rokin. Now what's all this? And speaking of waking Rokin, it looks like Marina is up and about. She's wearing her typical business attire, despite her lateness of the hours. <sighs> But her white hair looks a bit messier than usual. Yawning, she presses her palms, mouth, and then looks around. Hey, you, Cosmos, it's too late for your silly arguing stand aside. But Cosmos said, I don't care what she said. You leave her alone, or I'll be forced to discipline you again. Do you want that now, do you? Eep. <laughs> hey, you flinches and takes a few steps back. I guess she rem remembers the time back on the beach. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Um, when Marina delivered a volley of slaps against her defenseless rear. Now then, Marina looks at Fumi. I didn't expect you to be here. To see you here, Fumi. It's been too long. Marina, it's good to see you too. Fumi offers an elegant bow. How have things been? They've been going well enough. I would ask about your affairs too, but... I read it but so often in the newspapers, it seems hardly necessary. Your career is booming. Hardly, you exaggerate. Hifumi laughed slightly and waved one hand, trying to brush aside Marina's compliments. In, in actual fact, I've been having some doubts about my career. I feel like I'm stuck in a run, going through the motions. That's why I decided to come to the countryside, so I might help clear my head. I didn't know that you would be here, though, or dear AU and Cosmos, this is a pleasant surprise. Feels like a family reunion. <laughs> family? Huh? Wait. If Hifumi regards Marina, AU, and Cosmos as family, that must have mean you're... You're not a succubus too, are you, Hifumi? One does not like to tell. One moment must have secrets, you know. It adds to an allure. <laughs> and for me, and giggles. But if you already know about it, sucky bye, I suppose there's no point in coying about it. That is indeed correct. I am a succubus. I am a matter. Of, I am a member of the same clan as Marina, AU, and Cosmos. Hell, fuck. They're like sisters to me. I fucking figured. Good lord. <sighs> I'm not sure if I regard her as a younger or an older sister. Certainly I've lived more years than she, but I think she's even more talented than I. She's much better than I of making people listen to her. The youth never does what I tell her. She always ignores me. It is really sad. That is because you're too soft. You need to learn to toughen up. If you don't, nobody will pay you a hate, any hate. You might be right about that. I was good at putting down once, but now 
must have lived amongst the humans for too long. I've become quite a pushover. Don't worry, I can teach you to say no again if you like. I'll give you extensive lessons free of charge. Would you? That might, that just might prove of being helpful. Thank you, Marina. I'm really glad, I'm really glad, I'm glad to see you again. And of course, I'm really glad to see you again too, Cosmos and AU. Oh, that's just adorable. That is just adorable. Smiling gluefully, Hufumi presses the palm of her hands against the top of AU's head. Then she gives her head a ruffle. Stay out of trouble now. Don't get into any more fights with poor Cosmos. I'm glad to get I'm glad you're getting along so well, but if you absolutely must vent your spleen, I think it might be better if you did over a game of Shugi. Shugi? Ayu glares at the Fumi. What century do you think this is, you old granny? Don't place Shugi anymore. They don't? How sad. Then, hmm. Maybe you can play the Contra instead. I heard that's become quite popular as of late. Yeah, right. As if I want. As if I'd want to play Karata. I actually have a life, you know. Now stop ruffling my hair. You kind of mess up. Doesn't matter. It is very late and you should be in bed. If you don't get enough sleep, you'll be cranky in the morning. Then you'll get into even more fights. Now, please promise me. You'll behave yourself in the fan in the future. <laughs> um, I know you can do it. Who's a good girl? Dad. Hafumi <laughs> continues petting a youth head while a youth scowl grows more and more pronounced. Eventually, a youth patience, when has it never been the most plentiful, wears thin, and then she pushes Hifumi's arm off of her. Just leave me alone and drop this big concerned big sister act you hear. You're too old to be anybody's big sister. You make me feel sick. Hey you Marina stamps one foot against the ground. Is that any way to talk to Hifumi? She is your elder and better. You should show some respect. Respect? Yeah right. You spits on the ground. Why should I show respect when she always looked down on me? She acts like a goody two-shoes, but I know her game. Whenever there's a pretty boy in the vicinity, she loses her inhibitions. Now she's met Hiroki, she's not going to be able to hold back. I'll give it two days until she's trying to flirt with him. There's no way I want to act all nice, nicey nicey with a woman like that. You watch yourself, Hiroki. And you shoot a serious look. Does it look like I give a shit? Now, nah, Hifumi got, got you in her sights. She'll do anything to make you hers. Just don't give in to her provocations. Ah, eh, well, as much as loyal as I am, I'm still sticking with Cosmos no matter what the consequences are, so. No matter what happens, you're still my producer. And I'm not going to give you up that easily. Hmm. With that, this is him. Hmm, excuse me. A youth stalks away. Her long twin tails sway behind her, as does her firmly hymns over what or over pre <laughs> of her pre pink dress. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Hifumi watches her depart, her brow furrowed. Goodness me. It seems she dislikes me just as much as always. I've hoped she might have changed her tune after all these years, but I suppose not. It is vexing, but I still love my younger sister. I will do all I can to repair our relationship. I might be a pushover, but I can be persistent at times. I won't let anybody disregard my love. That look. See, that's what's going to mess with me at the fucking most. Because if she's going to... And I know this. If she's going to literally get at me and I'm not joking if she gets at me while I'm around Cosmos things are going to get complicated I said this countless times <laughs> well this is where I'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do make sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel hit that notification bell to join the iron hide today it's been set guys later